Hello, everyone! Unfortunately, you missed Fable talking for a little bit, but he's basically saying he has no set preference. Do you want to go over that again, or no? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, everyone in the comments section that loves Hunter the Parenting, just know that I have no set preference on how I learn more about this series. I understand you all want us to follow the order of episode one, then audio log, this and that. Here's the thing. Again, I have no set preference, so just know that if you guys commented a lot, it will get kind of a little annoying for me. However, I know you want what's best for us, but just know I'm not good at following orders. Mostly because I'm a rebel. I'm, I'm not, not actually not a rebel, but legitimately, I, I just really have no set preference, my guys. And I'm wondering if I should make a second channel where I just sing and do ASMR for no reason. We'll see where that goes. Anyway. Mm. I'll probably sing on the main channel, let's be honest. Anyway. Let's head into this. Hunter the Parenting. Kitten and Big D's primer on supernatural and local folklore. Humming the cock song? What? What a beautiful morning to- Who the fuck is in my kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, son of Good morning, Sidi! Immediately off the start. He just pulls out a sword. Guess he got alerted because he didn't know who was in the kitchen. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. Good morning, Sol. So oh, this old thing. <laughs> I, I thought you were the landlord. Oh, uh, I own this house. We don't have a landlord. Oh, so that makes you the landlord. Parasite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, in either case, good morning, my. You know what? I agree with this. I agree, I agree with, with, with this. Land landlords are in fact evil. Yes, in fact, most of the homes in America now are being owned by a big company, which I feel like should be illegal, because it's stupid, and eventually they're going to get toppled no matter what they do, because, uh, yeah, people aren't going to stand for this. Yes, also just want you all to know, uh, if you do own land, like if you're a landlord, and you tell me about it, I, I will curse you. It won't actually affect your everyday life, but I will curse you. Well, Just know that. I don't care if you're the greatest one ever. I'm going to curse you guys. Well, that's a thing. Child, I have a request. Uh, um, put the sword away and I can see what I can do. Capital, <laughs> consider it done. <laughs> Throw oh, sword away. Law, my body yearns for my special omelette. Can you make it for me? Uh, sure. Do you have a recipe? What is I'll this come out with the instructions. <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Real men wear mm -hmm. pink, apparently. Oh no, Fable. Huh? To the brain with my powerful voice! I'm... can... yeah, alright, just need Rick. to mix boys egg milk. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, do we have any jam left? Mm. Well... We are out. I'll have to go get more when I next go grocery snatching. Oh, grocery Marcus snatching? Marcus porridge about jam. Oh, what a child. He wants his porridge, but only with jam. He'll eat the beans, but not the sprouts. He wants his leek soup, but with absolutely no marmite. Such a baby. He is literally a baby. <laughs> They're just making fun of him right here. Wait, oh my God. is he wearing a pink fluffy robe? Yes. I wish to have a robe, but less pink and more with wolf motifs around him. Listen, I do out. I, I listen. If you guys, I don't know, give me ten dollars in the Patreon, I'll get art of me in a wolf onesie. I don't know. It's just a random thought that appeared in my head. My baby, precious no, better old child. Oh my God, if you, you guys give me ten dollars, I won't draw Mac in a wolf onesie. I just want ten dollars <laughs> for no raise. Oh, and adorable! Small, perfect child! <sighs> He's not gonna eat this porridge. Absolutely no. not. I'll gobble up Brancaster muscles like it's his goddamn birthright. 
True. Norfolk has corrupted my son. Oh my god. He would never eat marine mush before a return to these accursed reaches. Does he even know what happens in the ocean? What? I don't. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you a onesie. You know what? I'll put it in my throne, and you guys, if you want, I'll... I will i do not know. I'll wear the onesie around. Fable, did you hear that part, though? Uh, something about... The ocean. Um, something said, about the ocean and not knowing about what goes on in it, and it terrifies him? Yes. Put the muscles yeah. on his porridge. I'm sorry, what did you want for your omelette? All right, so take the D eggs and whisk them in a bowl. D eggs? Duck eggs. Okay. Does the D in big D stand for duck? I will remind you <laughs> that I own illegal firearms. <laughs> right, <sir. laughs> don't forget the milk. God damn it. I will remind you, Fable, that I own illegal firearms. Neat. Of course, um... Frickin'... Wait, there's no milk, I think. No, it's in the bag. What? What? Oh. Isn't this unpasteurized? Louis Pasteur was a fascist in line with the New World Order. What? Incomprehensible. I am turning the newspaper page. <laughs> um... What the hell? You know, after living on the road for ten years, I could imagine settling down in Norfolk must have felt quite cramped. Cramped? Hmm? <laughs> no. Ten the years, huh? Us thrusts to the planet Interesting. Boy. It's air and heaven stretch past our reckoning, windows to a fathomless beyond. Oh, no. not the answer I expected. Beautiful child. Even mm. in the smallest of places, entire worlds may exist. If not oh. in one's surroundings, then behind another's eye. It is only crap uh. if you lack vision. Wow. Deep thinking. Only uh. as deep as the ooze water at Yarmouth's Pirates Cove Adventure Golf Course! What? These are the thoughts skimmed from the froth of my incredible mind, son. If there were any justice in this world, they would be foundational philosophies by now. Nevertheless, I will oh. begin construction of the omelet sauce. Well, wait, omelette sauce? No, I just do not trust you with this. Focus on the omelet. Oh. Put in those carbon rods, the ones on the second drawer to the right. Carbon yeah, rods? I was wondering what we were going to do with those. Also, God, water in Pirate's Cove. It always looked so yeah, well, yeah, artificial. Like someone had an idea of what water looked like. And yeah, this is sounding gross. It's like, because water isn't actually blue. So, people that uh, have water look blue, it's, um, no. Also, I think Fable's dead. Yes, I am. You are well. tried to make it from scratch, but mm. stopped at the color blue, only got uh, halfway there. Really? Is water even real? I looked into it. Listen, I ingest it, so yes, I have some water right here. The water? Yes. Mm. Well, as you said, it's all grotty and blue. No, boy! The what? story behind the water. Not particularly. And I don't think they'd tell anyone if they, uh, did have a story. Loose mm. lips sink ships on Pirate's Cove, eh? Mm. Yeah. It could be the work of various different creatures. Uh, creatures? What? Uh, when you say that, do you actually just mean the club head or the groundskeeper? The club head? Well... The groundkeeper! What? The silent macabre horrors you have in this nation. Okay, so... Is he confusing real life things with, like, horrors? We shall hunt Maybe? them down! Well. The Norfolk County Golf Union might find that device. <laughs> what the hell? A vampire can own a golf club? Why? <laughs> oh, child! There is not a golfer alive I cannot kill! What?! Oh, uh, pour some sulfur in there just to get that tang going. <coughs> Fable, are you a golfer? Uh, how's your omelette sauce coming? Oh, it's uh, a simple thing. No. One table oh, really? Okay, then Big D apparently might not be able to kill you. Oh, that's good. 
tomato paste, one okay. tablespoon honey, mm. water, sauerkraut, ketchup, tongue Listen, katsu, golfers are rich people. Imperial. They are not rich people. My grandfather's a golfer. I call graphite to taste. Okay, what? Uh, ketchup. Your grandfather's That's rich in the it? right ways, man. What? He's rich in life. Hey. Not money, but rich in life. I guess so. He has a grandson that loves him. I'm not sure about my... I'm not sure about my sisters, considering one is all the way in Korea doing God knows what. She just wants to prove she's the most different in the family. I call her a hipster because that's what she is. She constantly goes and tries to be as different as possible from everyone else. There's also a button. No! She doesn't matter right now. Oh, that reminds me. I heard about your little story. Uh, the one about the fiddler and the monk. Did you? I did. Thoroughly charming. Uh, tell me, though, are there any similar stories hmm. surrounding Great Yard? Or, hell, anywhere around old East Anglia, as the natives call it. Oh, of course. It's a whole bloody legendarium. Oh. Uh, anything in particular that strikes your fancy? My mind can devour all in this world. Spectres, witches, werewolves, giraffes. I want it all. Well, they got giraffes at Africa Alive so far. What? Uh, well, let me have a think. Mm, I shall drink caffeine. Uh, all right, I've got a good one uh, to start off. For the ghost side no. of things, one also, of my big mama cat is, is here, Fable. Tale of the Hello. Hello, once again. He's but a torso. No, oh, that sounds that absolutely game. inane. Continue. You will live, Fable. Okay, so... No, I'm so she's literally oh, yelling at me. I'm not even kidding. Who's yelling at you? Daisy! Oh, dear. Literally sent me a message saying, don't stop being brain dead, Fable. And I'm like, oh, oh okay. East Coast? What? At the border between Great Yarmouth I, I and North North. I was kidding. I'm There's not even making this up, brother. Tomorrow, right? How's that spell? Okay. How's we're all? H A double P I S B. Okay, I'll let you about Hasburg. <laughs> your people's rejection of your own language is inspiring. <laughs> kill the queen. But yes! I'll kill the queen! Of that wretch's Hamlet. We lived in the caravan park for a month before this fucking ham of a man. I feel like Faye made real life and made it into a living horror show on us and their daily barbecue. Oh. Hello, oh. madam. How are you? Hope you are doing well. I am. I'm having a sad day. I had a nightmare. And I'm kind of Finger tired. Post. I think it's the weather. Yeah. And I'm being yelled at by Daisy. It, it kind of okay. hurts, not gonna lie. Yeah, the weather can make you feel exhausted. It happens to me every once in a while. Banned us from the public mm. bathrooms. Can you believe it? Banned us from the public I bathrooms? To get into it. I divorced him the week prior, and it was fucked. What? It is time for the race! Uh, was this omelette has on rice? Fear not! Tis my burden. Uh, you can go ahead and shred in some cheese and chlorine, please. Uh, chlorine? Ah. Well, okay. So. Oh. The torso. Okay. A little south of Haysborough, about half a mile from that caravan park, there's an intersection between three roads. In the midst lies a small, grassy triangle, quaint in its size, okay. with not much to I immediately assume that it is a spectre, a vampire, a goblin creature turned into a walking sir, sir, abomination that is in fact trying to kill. Crossing the. Ah! Just crossing oh. the roads, right? Strangling now. self? My bus drives on! Yes. Well, at this small triangular junction, there once was a well. They say he was. He married to a ham of a man who banned him from the public restrooms. What? Fable, anything to add? Huh? I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm trying really hard to pay attention to this, but and, well, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Well, well, well he's telling him a story, the apparently. Well isn't doing so well. Oh my god. Because it's not there anymore. Damn it! If only I had been there in time! There is a reason for this. Okay. Well Corner, it was called, back in the 1800s. For years, local men, <coughs> farmers and such, made terribly frightening reports of a strange figure. Okay. Wandering up the main street of the small town. 
At first, based on his bulbous silhouette, they believed he was injured or hunchbacked, an old man lolloping through the night. But upon a close inspection made mm -hmm. by those few brave enough to get close, it was made readily apparent that this hunchback was the figure's nearly severed head. Oh. Bobbling behind him, hanging from threads that were the remains of his neck. <laughs> oh. Talk about a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, this same figure also appeared to lack the Also, chat has asked you a question, Fable. Fable, do the Fae ever play golf in their own ways? Yes, yes, they do. Hmm. We use rocks. Living rocks. They have it coming. I know. No to all of that. Oh, okay, no, How but really they do. Now? But it's like mini golf. But since normal golf is kind of boring, and mini golf has more of those, <clears throat> excuse me, has more of those really adorable like uh, mini buildings. It's kind of like that, but it's really colorful. And sometimes the holes move, just give a little bit of a more challenge, but nothing too insane. Hmm. You know, it's just more for fun. Hmm. I. Don't know. Uh, hmm. Ghost reasons, I assume. He can walk um, without legs. Anyway, but he has a hanging he wore hair. A sailor suit. Ah, sea legs. Carry on. He wore a sailor suit and held what looked like a saggy old sack clutched to his chest. Okay. Desperately making way towards a particular destination. Well, corner. This figure could be seen for days, then weeks. After report upon report, it's going fine, Georgie. Sighting, We're just learning about uh, this little. The villagers decided that legend. enough was enough. Something had to be done. Okay. They settled on a plan. The shambling thing had, of course, been seen on its trail, leading all the way up to the well, where then the thing would throw the sack down into its depths. Only to soon okay. follow suit, but yeah. crawling down, down into the murky old well. Oh damn it! The locals knew there, there was only one way to properly investigate. So, they sent a poor Dutch man who just so happened to be smaller than their average down by a rope into the black well okay. to investigate. Down went the brave Dutchman late one evening. The poor Dutchman. Fear, the murky waters still beneath. The horror thick in the air, with the notion that the silence could break at any moment with the sound of something waterlogged that is not meant to speak. This, until at last, the Dutchman hung above the waters, and with a hook pushed down into the darkness, came upon something. Okay. Quickly, upon his call, they fished up first a Dutchman, then a large brown mass from the bottom. Oh! It was a bag. One within which they found the mangled remains of two legs. Oh, there's his legs. Oh, I should have they drained that bloody well. Yeah. Oh, of course they did. Uh, in its place, they even installed a new pump, and strangely, the sighting ceased after that. Mm, really? Oh, man, I'm Just feeling a bit under the weather. Yeah. I'm feeling more than a bit under the weather. My throat is sore and my... I'm getting a slight headache, unfortunately. But I am listening. They were drinking leg tea. I don't know what to say mm -hmm. about that. Fable, do you have any words? Uh, All I know is apparently in uh, the second critical role game, there is literally a character that made tea, ma uh, tea made out of dead people. I'm not even kidding. That was a thing. That's cars. Well then. Let's head back into it. But... The very pump was actually removed some years after that. Okay. And yeah, the you'll eat once again reported awful groaning uh, deep I ate, the night. don't worry. By all accounts, the ghost had returned until at last the pump was reinstalled. 
That doesn't mm. make much sense. Ghosts in general don't make much sense? Nonsense! Yeah. They make what? perfect sense! It's just a sense we don't yet grasp. Y you think so? My that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. Do you get a fable? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Basically, ghost logic runs on their own logic. It's basically the logic of a person which has no logic. Boy, all things are ordered and explicable. Even chaos harkens to the beat of unseen principles. There is no true randomness, merely spontaneous whimsy. Flowers wilt, waters flow, aortic valves implode, vampires suck. Ugh. Never for no reason. True. Huh. This is a surprising outlook, sir. I always thought you looked at the supernatural world with more... Well... Whimsy? Wonder, I guess? Boy, I ought to smack you, but I love you, so instead I... <laughs> oh god, you cracked my glasses. Order and wonder, girl. Oh, <laughs> what? He cracked his glasses with a flick. What the hell is this man made out of? Hand in hand. Whether Jeez. decoding chaos or indulging in its whimsy, the world around us is yeah. a ceaseless den of darkness and delight. Just as there is joy in understanding a facet of it, there is equal joy in knowing there is more to discover. The quest goes ever on, Sancho, and whether windmill or giant, my light strikes forward. Of course, Di Quixote. <laughs> Di Quixote. <laughs> now then, this torso. He seems like an odd chap. You know it's the tale of Don Quixote, right, Fable? Oh, uh, yes, little bits and pieces. Yeah, he's what? just a strange old man who attacks a windmill. At one point, he tries to attack some nuns, but they, but one of them clocks them, clocks him across the head. Nuns that linger from their past lives. I believe the common vernacular is fetters. Well, perhaps the well itself is a fetter. Perhaps. Mm. You see, to destroy a fetter often destabilizes a ghost, turns them hostile. Like Marcus and his silly game station. Uh, he was really torn up after you crushed it with a hammer. It uh, defied my will and was summarily punished. Uh, Next time, Marcus should share a fairer interest with me. Look, Mario Party is unfair for everyone. Oh my it god. It should be the least unfair for me. Uh, it can be if you play Peach. Everyone cheated but Big D. <laughs> Next time, Big D cheat. Casual. Yes, something more casual. Well then. I feel like that would happen if me and Fable played Mario Party, he'd bring out the hammer. Probably. But too bad, we're going to play Dokapon Kingdom. I don't wanna, I don't like games like that, to be honest. Don't worry, don't worry. Like diplomacy, or the game of about Dokapon Kingdom, there's no one's friends afterwards. Hmm, maybe so. Yes. That's why so many ghosts act cagey when you traipse into their homes. They're essentially defiling their remaining memories of mortal life. Oh. It's typically unwise to disturb them. And even worse when those places are destroyed. Yeah. I see. And since the well is gone now? Yes, you'd expect sightings to soar. However, it is also thought geists can find some form of peace through these fetters. Perhaps our sailor friend was a native of the village. He may have yearned for clean water in his dying moments at sea, or as a youth in Happersburg or some such. That makes sense. Gatesburg, whatever your evil devil village is called. <laughs> it's pure conjecture, but mayhaps in bringing it to his village, he made peace with his death uh, before he went to hell. Oh. This explains why he only Give came back a... after the pump was removed. Me right saying he's going morning. to hell. Uh, though, of course, it's just as likely that this ghost was a Happisburg hoax to get the government to replace an old pump. You, you... I know. Or perhaps a story shared by bandits and criminals to keep roads clear at night. In the book I read, they suggested the chap was a smuggler of some such, likely murdered in a quarrel with his own Oh. Not his own, his own coal will get him. You know, it's always the quarrel you don't see that gets him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny joke. I taught it to Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> right, so having fun. Likely murdered in a quarrel with his own comrade. Ah, oh, who can say? Oh. Truths like these are hidden for a reason. For mankind to bring them hissing, screaming into the light, for all to behold! Uh, right inspiring, sir. 
Uh, uh, speaking of, could I ask how you know any of this? I That's once entered an abandoned hotel in LA. A ghost threw a phone at me. I have studied their ways ever since. <laughs> I not damn you! <laughs> Do not mock me, Philistines! Uh. I'll kill you, necromancer! <laughs> I'll kill all of you! Ah! I'll break the no, bones no. of your body, you boxes! Do you want to hear more Norfolk urban legends? Well then, I don't think D is well, Fable. No, he's not. He is not. I do think I know what he's referring to. There's apparently a a goat's part that's really scary in Vampire the Masquerade. If you didn't know, that takes place in L.A. I think. It's always L.A. You think? Hmm. Of course! Cool! Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. There's loads to cover. Uh, Black Shuck, the Norfolk Priest Holes, the Witch hmm. of East Summerston. Ooh, a spook or a witch! Sure, we'll go with that one. <clears throat> also all but what he has all but Long one ago, screw left in the 15th century a yeah. mysterious peg-legged woman was accused by the local clergy of witchcraft okay while this was naturally a barbarous practice that shit was crazy while we know those accused of witchcraft were innocent the witch of east summerston apparently big mama cat wants to have a tea party with big d for reasons we'll get into was perhaps not. Why, madam? While proof of her Why? deeds have been lost to the ages, stories abound of her sorcerous ways. And for this, she was seized and buried alive oh. beneath St. Mary's Church in the little village of East Somerton. However, unfortunately for the church, this ah. would prove to be their last mistake, for a witch's ire is rarely spurned. You really don't want to mess with witches. Also, I see that you're sending me an image of the gunpla you want. And it's yeah. cute! Yeah, yes, I know you like the gym. He doesn't know much about Gundam like the other day, everyone. he uh, When we were watching a video, he asked me... Oh, yeah, he's like, wait, they threw more space stations at Earth? Listen, I ever since I played that one uh, Gundam game that kind of... Okay, listen, I know it's every fucking Gundam game, but just bear with me. <laughs> the one Gundam game that came out and that was cancelled because stupid people want money and they don't do it properly. Basically, yeah. I played it as the GM gym, uh, uh, the gym. Yeah. And I, I think this model is... It, it, it's simple in the lore, yeah, who cares? I think it's adorable and I want one. Yes, he wants uh, the original gym. The, the yeah. RG... Uh, the RGM gym, but I think he should get the, listen, get the Origins gym, because the one you're looking at is an older version, which has, older models have a lot of problems. Uh, you gotta, you gotta show it, you gotta help me find it, is the whole oh. thing. And okay. if it's not too expensive. Because if it's too expensive, I'm not getting it. Let me see if I can find it then. There, I found it. Okay. Chad, I'm gonna spend all my money on chicken nuggets. When and the ground was cause... cleared from her burial, she only laughed as the dirt covered her shackled body. Laughed and laughed oh. as she was entombed within the soil. We shouldn't laugh she all this happened. No more. The priests and congregated hunters celebrated their victory until her peg leg was seen jutting oh. out of the ground. First a mere shaft of wood, oh. then a sprouting log, and then a great and mighty oak tree which shattered the church and turned it to ruins. The husk of her victory can still be seen oh, today. Thirty dollars now. Oh, and it's still sold. Oh my God! Should you be foolish enough? That she might also wake her yet. What the the hell? You can take those off or add those on, Fable. Those are just extra bits. Uh, that's, that's ugly, not gonna lie. No, it doesn't! It does! Anyway, we're moving forward before I have to backhand Fable. Utterance of her true name. I'm sorry that the model looks ugly to me. <laughs> 
But she got him. I suppose she did. Ah, classic. Uh, are you gonna expand on that? No, nope. oh, sorry, I think the story is big. Uh, well, oh, well, sir, I've taken you for many things, but never a skeptic. skeptic. Come on, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would the Christians bury this woman in the middle of their church? That is very weird. What, did they just dig up the floors in the middle of mass, slap her in? The story might not be entirely literal. They could have just buried her in the lower levels. I mean, the oak is there, that's a fact at least. Mm, I still disagree. Why? Mainly because it contradicts me. What? At least you're honest. Well, I will say... Your fake story does have all the markings of a witch's dastardly death ex. Assuming oh. it isn't fake, of course. Of course. I admit I don't know much about death hexes or witches and the like. I explain. Um, <laughs> wizards and stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. They can die if you shoot them. Yeah. Cool. This is always a bad idea. Please oh. watch out. Alert, 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 Point alert. Point taken. Point taken. Dear God. That scared me for a second. I wasn't expecting him to start shouting. I should have expected it, but I didn't. What do you think so far, Fable? I think the model's ugly. You think... Uh, you're still focusing on that GM. Yeah. We'll go over some more later. Mm-mm. The reason for this is the death curse. It's this thing they where... They curse you in death? Correct. And usually to death. Yep. It doesn't happen. Alert, 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 alert! Point taken! Point taken! The reason yeah. for this is the death curse. Okay. It's this thing where... They curse you in death? Correct. Yeah. And usually to death. It doesn't happen every time you smite a witch or wizard. But often enough that it's very dangerous to attempt. Oh, bloody hell. So you mean to say if there's an evil wizard running around, we can't do anything about it? Of course you can! Wizards are nerds, you can easily punch. <laughs> but to be safe, make sure you aren't sick. <laughs> yes, wizards are nerds, you can easily punch. Uh, from what I understand, in the world of darkness, mages and wizards are very. you know, broken? Yes, but I... they're still human, is the thing, from what I know. I, I mean, they're demi human, apparently. Oh, that's something I do not know. That's what Common told me, at least. Um, I don't know. He, he said there were essentially like demigods at some point. I, I don't know. Ask him. He knows more. Where, beware the proper prepared death curse of well expected, well prepared oh, mages. Oh, don't come at all before killing them instantly, or else your brain will be turned into a cornered cob, and this is a fact. Oh, well, uh, as scary as killing one is, at least they're not so hard otherwise. Oh, actually, they can warp reality with their wheels and brains. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, near infinite power to alter There creation. you go. Um. Oh. Man, and I thought Kevin was bad. The great and mighty Kevin was formidable. But indeed, were he a true magi, I doubt could have survived your encounter. Our oh. encounter? What about you? Oh, I'd have been fine. <laughs> I admire your optimism, but I remember um. you barely, uh, surviving Kevin. Oh. Yeah, I think your brain might be wrong. <laughs> How would it be any different if Kevin were more powerful? Really, son-in-law? Do you honestly think your old man would dive headlong into the cave without a few tricks up his sleeve? Do you want the honest answer? No! That'd be a uh, good boy and add more garlic powder. Sure thing, Sadi. Garlic powder is kind of good on an omelet. Something interesting garlic there. powder? Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> I haunted your kitchen for all eternity, bouncing around between homes, wrecking havoc and chaos. Oh, sure thing. So more. Apparently, that's Big Mama's death curse. Sure thing. Big Mama. Now tell me something. Else. What? Tell me about it. Madam, uh, if you haunt what? my kitchen, I will literally say you stop that right now. Is this an actual recipe? I don't think so. Oh, I mean, at one point he wanted to add chlorine, so I doubt it. Yeah. Most classic tale. The mysterious red-eyed dog of East Anglia, Black oh. Shuck. Black Ooh, Shuck. Black my incredibly show. variable attention. Black Shuck is a mysterious creature. 
Tales of its appearances date back to at least the 1500s, but probably stretch even further. Stories of a pitch-black hound with dreadful red eyes whose glow portends calamity and misery. Ah, uh, like the Black Hound of Baskerville. I suppose so, uh, but Banshees are more direct. The howl of a Banshee is meant to reflect an imminent demise and is thought to be a spirit of the dead or some kind of fae or something. Shuck is different. For instance, in 1577, Shuck was said to have appeared before a large congregation at the Holy Trinity Church. Mm -hmm. Shattering through the doors in a clap of thunder, hundred. Shuck's appearance befuddled and terrified the congregation. Pitilessly, Shuck strode through the nave, ripping a man and child to shreds where they stood. Oh! The crowd stood agape before the steeple of the church collapsed down upon Oh, it's a hellhound. How curious! Now, this is an exciting story. Oh, well, it gets even better. That very same night, there was a reported sighting in St. Mary's Church. A, a different St. Mary's, one in Bugger. Ah. Black Shuck again interrupted a congregation, this time in a burst of flame. Oh. He launched through the crowd, inciting panic and delirium before brushing against two curious individuals in the midst of prayer. Ooh, the anticipation is killing me. Okay. Before those same two suddenly fell dead like marionettes with broken strings. Yes, oh. yes, yes! My boy, I am going to kick this dog! What? Oh, son-in-law, surely you see. This little hellhound is causing a commotion, a ruckus, killing people, eating souls, probably well, barking, well, which <laughs> means it's a victimless crime to experiment on him. <laughs> uh, um... We're born with a pregnant woman meets a death before her own time. Oh, that's an actual thing? I didn't know that was part of a tale of a banshee. I thought a tale of a banshee was that of a that of a woman who suffered a cruel uh who suffered a cruel death. That or banshees tend to sing for the dead as well. I thought it was always a woman whose wife who uh husband cheated on so she Minecraft. That's that's the yeah you want the, the, yeah I can't say it. That's the idea you had. That's the, the they Yarona. Scream. The screams warning often stuck in areas of the death forever mourning. That I do know. To dampen your mood, mm -hmm. D, but uh He wants to kick the dog. In the 1500s. Time means nothing! There is not a statute of limitations on being a goblin. Um uh, he's a dog? Yes, whatever that is. Well, I suppose there are modern sightings, though they're far less dramatic. Oh? Yeah, usually people getting spooked and being like Oh no, mate, that's Black Shark, isn't it? And it is, and yeah, that's the story there. It's kind of lame. Propaganda. What? What? It sounds like what? propaganda. Yeah. Perhaps what? there is a network of these dogs. What? A network of dogs what? running a joint <laughs> venture to keep the common man quiet about dog crime and dog poker. <laughs> What? And the only dogs <laughs> I know to do crime are the werewolves. What? I feel like we should ask Fable or ask uh, Rykoi about this then, if he does dog crimes and dog poker. Poker. Oh, wait, hang on. You know about werewolves? My boy, if there is a supernatural pest on this planet, you can assume I have bested it at least once. Remind me to tell you about my mummy adventure sometime. Oh. Mummy. Ah, I'm second hand, don't you, British? Okay, oh. the English government has a history of plunder and thievery, but the British Museum can't steal your funny mummy mummy. Presume nothing! Also, burn your national insurance papers! What? what? Why? The power of true names run eternal, even in Nestian code! <clears throat> uh, so, evil dog. Okay. That, um. Wow. What do you think so far, Fable?
I don't know. I'm having a hard time following this, to be honest. This is a lot yeah, to pack in, and you've barely even given me werewolf facts. Werewolves, that's right. All right. Um, well, randomly attacking churchgoers certainly fits their M.O. Really? The period. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. For much of their history, werewolves have been insane neo-pagan theocrat berserkers. You say much of their history. What about now? Uh, these days, they're more like insane neo-pagan theocrat berserkers. Ah, no. oh. What? Some of them go on the computer. What? And in my experience, those ones are typically far better adjusted. Which is ironic, considering the computer is the devil. What? Who to thunk it? I to thunk it. <laughs> but then that's cheating because I, I already knew. But there are things that line up and don't line up about Black Shuck as a werewolf. Okay. Do you tell. For one, the more recent sightings tend to be rather uneventful, correct? Eh, uh, mostly. A lot of people just seeing him. Maybe something unlucky happens afterwards. Uh, links the computer is evil. From time to time. I guess so. I don't know. But nothing so dramatic as murders in the middle of mass. Fable not opening their mind to apparently what chat says. It could be that this werewolf. No, or possibly I'm gonna be honest. Um, the world of darkness lore is not that interesting for me. Yeah, we might. I tried. Be. I tried. I'm sorry. We might get you later on, but we'll see. You liked at least <laughs> the first episode. Yeah. The audios are a lot slower from what I've been told, though. More methodical, if you get my meaning. To my understanding, and keep in mind, the only Black Shulk I know of is essentially kind of like the one from the SCP files, where apparently, by looking the creature in the eyes, a horror will befall you, such as you'll die in a certain amount of time, or you'll have like a lot of bad luck, essentially. Hmm. And at one point, you know how he said, uh, it's never too old, or I don't exactly remember his words, but basically to experiment on it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what happened in the file. The science, the, uh, the, the, um, the, what do you call it? The researcher performed the surgery removing the Black Schultz eyes, but since it was kind of considered cruelty, he was instantly reprimanded and I think put into D class. It was oh. just a really messed up experiment. To do. Oh, it was SCP. Oh. Yeah. Wolves have simply learned how to better cover their tracks. Ah. Uh, in the 1500s, outright attacks on religious, scientific, and mystic organizations were more common. Okay. Common. Common. It's common. <laughs> <laughs> These days, you need to keep a low profile to survive. But there's also the matter of modern sightings. The banality aligns with a werewolf phenomenon known as the delirium. Oh! Charming name. And despite how boring these modern sightings are, an apt one, this delirium is a side effect of the shape-shifting process. Essentially, uh, when a werewolf enters their mighty war form, human beings tend to... panic. Well, I suppose I might panic too if a giant monster jumped out at me. And mm. we'll work together to break this bad habit, son-in-law. Do werewolves need flea collars during flea season? I don't think so. But that's not what I meant. Panic. Well, I suppose I might panic too if a giant monster jumped out at me. And we'll work together to break this bad habit, son-in-law. But that's not what I meant. Funny enough, werewolves in, uh, in Irish tales would leave fish on people's window seals for some reason. I don't know why, but it's a thing. I mean, a supernatural panic. Uh, supposedly, there's some resonance in the psyche of mankind with werewolves. And this primordial hunter, blah, blah, blah. All right, madam, you have, anyway. well, yeah, you have fun. Yeah, you have fun. Also, um, yeah, apparently werewolves are humanity's primordial and apex predator fable in the world of darkness. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Apparently they were supposed to stop us from doing what we do now, but they, uh, didn't. They failed? Yeah, it looks like it. Stupid werewolf. <laughs> Failing at the one job they had. And now they are working for Gaia, you know, the spirit of nature and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, so fish people's window. 
They don't throw fish, they leave them on the window seal. Oh yeah, there is there is a uh, one book called Mummy the Curse where you can play as mummy. I don't know what that would be like, but yeah. But nevertheless, uh, when the water mixes, I know what it'd be like. You basically try your best not to go find any rich Englishman. <laughs> oh my god. Werewolves war for I went there. Neil Hunter, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's true, anyway. Well, but nevertheless, when a mortal witnesses a werewolf's war form, they tend to go briefly mad. Ah. Uh, mad how, exactly? Well, they might run away, or freeze up, or attack with insane vigor. Often their reaction depends on the strength of one's will. Ah. Uh, so the average person flees. And usually with no recollection of events. Worse still, it's almost impossible for normal humans to avoid, even in part. One must be either extremely strong-willed, or supernatural themselves, to avoid delirium completely. Ah. Have you ever suffered the delirium, sir? Ah, oh, no, I'm built different. But those without these bulging brain muscles are in for a world of hurt. I train you and the others for precisely this reason. Discipline! Determination! Dear, oh my god, I'm losing my chance for a 3D alliteration! Oh god, help me! Distrucity! That's the word. Oh my god. <laughs> Told me that she doesn't care about why I think and go back to whatever I was doing. <laughs> okay, Pink Mole Cat. And apparently she also thinks werewolves need to wear flea collars when they transform because fleas are a menace. Built different or built stupid? It's the same thing. Pretty much. Last words of... Bit of a stretch, mate. Ah! Ow! These are the things I instill within you with my relentless chicanery. Is that why you ruined Marcus's twelfth birthday by by dressing as the bark goblin? The bark Not goblin. So fucking loosely. <laughs> okay, yes. that, that was really traumatic to him. In RS, he exclusively levels his combat stats killing goblins. Then the student has become the master. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Anyway, hey, uh, uh, don't fight a werewolf, by the way. Yeah, oh. I heard they're tough. But with how well we did in the tunnels against those vampires, I'm confident that... No. What? You aren't ready to fight a werewolf, son-in-law. Not yet. The fledglings oh. we fought were fearsome, yes, but a werewolf... Listen well. Oh. Werewolves are killing machines. They are supernatural soldiers fighting a war we barely understand. Do not fight them. I'll take your warning to heart, sir. But what if we're forced to? Their weakness is silver due to their combat with the moon. Silver bullets, silver knives. Use them. Focus on evasion and trickery. When they're at their most dangerous, they're at their most feral. Blind them, distract them. Trust your wits, not your fists. Right. I understand. He got really serious right there. Give it a minute. No, but he did because werewolves, from what I know, are super dangerous. And I feel like he's yeah, doing I'm... it... Like he's giving them the best tools he can or know... Because he kind of, well, has to. Because he's like, yeah, you can fight these, like, fledgling vampires. But if you have to fight a werewolf, don't or use what I taught you. Because he got very serious. Oh, yeah, I know. Werewolf serious. You're fucking... Huh. Good. Okay. Because it's omelet time! Shit, I forgot the omelet! It's burnt! Fear not! It's oh. just the way I like it! Burnt? Here we go, and now the sauce! Is it supposed to smell more like egg than eggs do? Yeah. What? Why are you putting it in the blender? Oh, uh, to blend it! Yes, sir! Uh, Big D's home style omelet! AKA, sauce burning acid! Yes, you did know You're it was burning. That, right? Silly boy, I would probably die or throw up. Oh, no, this is for our illustrious guest, the great and mighty Kevin. Oh, ah, uh, I understand. Wait, there are way easier ways to make acid. I understand nothing. It's the <laughs> principle of the thing. Besides, Kevin is a vampire. They can't eat food. <laughs> By mixing the acid with food, it makes it even more unpleasant. 
Is that going to kill him? I mean, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know. But Ugh. I do live with them. This. this is just for torture purposes. Oh. Somehow that's even worse. Relax. Uh. It's actually very funny and moral. And besides, it's the threat of torture that's the most important. That old tree mare will crack like an egg before I have to use this stuff. Mark my words. Tree mare? <laughs> Oh, he freaked out when he caught on that word. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, that is the name of one of the vampire clans. Everyone hates them and wants them to die. Do go on, Sir D. I, well, What's their civil structure like? Uh, Are they blood uh, like families, impersonal syndicates? Do they confer abilities? What are their secrets? Are there any Norfolk clans? What are the other ones? What's an antediluvian within this context? Why does Pyotr hate you? Son in law! I have two cruel truths to impart upon you. I want to kill Kevin. Maybe. Okay. The first is, you will need to buy a new blender. <laughs> the second, vampire lore is, uh, tricky. Okay. More than any other supernatural creature, vampires despise being unveiled. They relentlessly hunt any breach of their vaunted secrecy with organized and military precision. All right. As such. Though I know much, I speak little of it, oh. and sadly, share even less. Of course, but surely you can trust your own family. Trust has little to do with it! Say I share all that I know. Indeed, to truly destroy this foe, we must understand it. But if I do so carelessly... Notice how the conversation started. I carelessly said the word Tremere. Yes? If we were in public, in a restaurant, were on the street when I had said that. We would very well have to move. Well, oh, that's a tad extreme. And it is necessary. The masquerade, they call it. To wear the mask of a human. To blend in with us. To convince us their existence is but a fairy tale. Any breach in this masquerade is a threat to their very existence. For even though they are individually more powerful, they fear mankind more than anything else. They are few, and we are many. Mm. Should wider society discover their existence, man might well eradicate them. Oh, we would. Well, and especially- We do that- we kill just cre- we kill animals for killing just humans normally. Yeah. If we learned that there were blood-sucking monsters that could only eat on us and use us, we'd- There wouldn't be a vampire left. Oh, yes, thank no, you. That's the dream. That's the dream. No vampires. Yeah. I have vampire. too many dealings with vampires. Mm -hmm. Could slay a hundred mortals. Mm -hmm. There is a limit to their strength. True. Few There's break limit. easily, but all break. And that is not to speak of their most hated enemy, the sun. Its ancient rays scorch even the eldest of their kind to charcoaled bone. Oh, Vampires that I didn't know. Vampires cannot be rid of their great adversaries, for the sun is beyond their reckoning and humanity vital to their survival. Thus, most work to preserve their masquerade. Because they quite literally can't get rid of the sun and they can't just get rid of humans because they need us to survive. It is an interesting dichotomy. What you think, Fable? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going into my own head. Carefully balanced upon webs of injury and murder. To further this end, vampires have many agents. Ghouls, they call them. Mortals grown addicted to vampiric blood. These half-men gain a whisper of their master's power in exchange oh. for fanatical servitude. Unlike their masters, though, ghouls need not slumber by day. Their eyes are everywhere, and they watch vigilantly for the slightest breach of undead omerta. This is You're why wrong. we hunters are responsible for the vampire threat. We learn as much of the vampire as we can and spread it safely to ensure these parasites become the forgotten myths they pretend to be. Interesting. 
Even this is a treacherous task, for we cannot know which parts of our collected vampiric lore are mistaken assumption, the earnest truth, or malignant propaganda. I see. So rest assured, I will teach you what I know, but slowly. They might not blood hunt you for knowing a word or two, but they certainly will if you know their meaning. And what is a blood hunt? And they'll kill you for knowing what that is too. Oh. Which is dumb because <sighs> it's kind of just what it sounds like. Every vampire in the region hunting you for, for your blood. Hard okay. to figure out. Breach not our veil of secrecy. <laughs> Still, it'd be nice to know what we're dealing with. Uh, for instance, uh, Pyotr flashed in and out of visibility on the security cameras, and I swear that Ape Boy oh. gets uglier every time I see him. Oh, he's using obfuscation. We watched this video, remember, a uh, fable that uh, Nosferatu can just kind of make themselves invisible sometimes. Ape Boy was I think the that's what I was calling uh, it. Absolutely. I don't remember, but yes. <laughs> you don't remember, but yes. Yes. Snort vampire blood while freezing it. I don't want to know that. Uh, fuck em. Oh, yeah, fuck em. But yes, your questions are valid. Let me say this then. Piotr, that a uh, sludge lad? Not the right term, is it? Oh, no. But that clan are vampire info brokers. So it's one of the scariest ones to actually know. Ah. Uh, sludge Lad is just fine for now. We're going with Sludge Lad. <clears throat> Primarily, they are known for four things. First, their ability to turn invisible. Some can even use vampiric magics to alter their appearance, ah. appearing as something they're not. Second, their ability to control. That I didn't remember. Lost uh, Sludge Lads are known to use legions of vermin as their eyes and ears. After all. Who better to eavesdrop than the rats in your wall? All the worse when they're ghouled by their undead masters and gain a smattering of their... Wait, they can do that for animals, magics. too? That explains your intense pest control methods. Listen, I raised Dor on a steady diet of home-hunted spy rats. What? Look at him! He came out American! <laughs> Isn't it awful? And so the third and fourth things? Uh, thing three is that they're... I, I, I don't know why he's... Door came out American, but um, that's a thing. Oh. Oh, there are going. Ah. Don't pity them. Honestly, some of them look good. Oh, God. Did. What does that mean? When he called me lover boy, when I said he looked hideous, did Pyotr think I was hitting on him? Maybe. I can't say for sure, but also, yes, definitely that was the case. <laughs> Shit! Fear not! I will not inform my son about your tryst with the sewer child. Oh, oh. Uh, the fourth thing. Uh, mm. They're super strong and can juggle dumpsters. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Uh, we have him in a tiny no, I'm not going to ignore the raccoons in the walls. We're interested not spying on you. Oh, my God. Turning plant can be a goal. Wall it, is follow. that going to hold? Well, if he hasn't broken out... To door make the cage? Uh, maybe? Mm. If he did, no worries. If he didn't, why didn't he? That is a good point. That's true. Well, the lad could be biding his time. Or he figures he can't break through the big, big vault that is our cellar, so he's waiting for his chance to escape. Or. 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 He could just not be very strong. Huh? Oh. I see. Or, well, I mean, Marcus insists his kick was pretty all right. Oh, oh, vampires are capable of some superhuman physical feats. Okay. But he probably couldn't throw a car or whatever drained as he is. Uh, good thing we stabbed them bloody, then. It seems like a pretty big weakness if their strength is beholden to their amount of blood. Yeah. Yes, being a vampire is a fine deal. Until you notice the many caveats. For instance... Their strength is weakened with every generation. With each new passing of the supernatural disease that is vampirism, the power within the blood of each new child lessens. Additionally, ah, the yeah. vampire's unique magics are like any other mundane skill. Some come intuitively, others start at different levels of expertise. Hmm. 
but all must have time and effort put into them. It could be that Pyotor has simply not mastered the vampiric art of potence, or has only honed it to a slight age. Okay. It'd account for his performance back in the tunnels, I suppose. He seemed like he'd be tougher than he was. His kind are sometimes brawlers, but Pyotr himself? He seems like an opportunist to the core. The strategy yeah. fight seems out of his element. He did use uh... from which of his other skills he's applied himself to. So invisibility or animal control. Him being able to disappear even on camera tells me his specialty might actually be invisibility. Ah, well, yeah, Not that makes everyone sense. Everyone is capable of that little hat trick. Or ugly. <laughs> yeah, he's really honed that into an art. Ah, I've seen ugly. Uh, Fair enough. In Harvest Morrow. Shoot. When are they going to knock that place off the map? <coughs> now then! Okay. This has been a delightful conversation about essentially everything in the world. I must now go pour terrible slime down Kevin's gaping maw. But before that, be very cautious during tonight's interrogation. Hmm. I'm sure everything will go well. Just remember, even okay. a feeble opportunist like Pyoto can be the death of you. Duly noted. That's the saying of never underestimate your prey or the hunt. Underestimating any supernatural quarry is a very bad idea. Yeah. Exactly. My performance in the caves is evidence of that. I am the most experienced and skilled hunter of this family. Yet when I let my guard down, an inferior foe holds me at knife point. This is something you must truly understand. Hunting isn't as simple as a video game or an action movie. No, I'm isn't. not a video gamer, so this absurd language doesn't touch me. Commando, however, is an excellent piece of cinema. So <laughs> I say yes, you get it. Say, what was up with those tunnels anyway? I will tell you when you're older, by a few days at least. Because <laughs> I tire of these questions! Aww. But I guess. I will say, the person who does uh, Big D's voice is amazing. Like he does a lot. Also, Daisy says bye, Fable. Alrighty, bye, Daisy. Take care. I gotta care. move on myself. Breakfast cancelled. I've um, got to buy a new blender, it seems. It does indeed seem that way, child. <laughs> Want me to drive you? Uh, I'm fine. I'll take the runabout. Less gas spent, you know? Ah, Small yes. Runabout. Money and all that. Uh, well. Good fortune Speaker D is amazing. Oh yeah, that's who voices him. Speaker well, D. I shall. And son, know that I am very proud of you. Oh. And your blender. Oh. And your blender. You. Ta-ta! Adios! We are in Mexico today! What? Damn the fucking Bloody bone. You're having a good day, Fable. I have a headache. Same here. You have listened to an audio drama by Ogre Poppinum. Well. Oh. With voice work by Thunder Psyker as Kitten and Speaker D as Big D. Speaker D has a great Artwork voice. By Ironi Roko. I hope I can commission that person. Macker. Sound composition by Alpha Busa. Okay. Mixing by Stringstorm. Animation by Alpha Busa. With lead writers Speaker D and Alpha Busa. And script editing by Erndil okay. and Oculus Imperia. Okay. Special thanks to Blessed for shitting. Portions of the materials are the copyrights and trademark. Did you hear that last bit? No, what did you say? Thank you. Thanks to Blessed for shitting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, thank you all so much for coming by. If you want us to watch more of this stuff, please go ahead and tell us. Uh, it's ju uh, we're just we're just both a little out of it right now because, uh, well, Fable and I, I both have headaches. I, I don't know. You can tell Mac to watch it. I'm probably going to avoid it, to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of not really interested in it. Eh, calm not down. Not sorry. I'm being honest, it doesn't really catch my fancy. <laughs> we'll see next time, Fable. We still have to watch uh, the second episode, and this one was more of an audio drama to begin with, either way. Uh, you're not listening okay. to me. Yes, I am. No, you're not.
But if you're true... Yes, Mama, we know, madam. We know you wish to have a big father, dad, man, the crazy man for, over for tea and, and crumpets and tea and, and cakes and whatever other tea things you have. But yes, leave the audio dramas working. to me and then we'll focus on you for the episodes. There aren't that many episodes from what I've seen. Uh, Fable, you can't tell me you didn't at least like the first episodes. That was interesting, but eh. And you tell me you can't at least like the funny things of D and Kitten talking, can you? Eh. See, I'm right. I'm not, you just need to believe I'm in going, me, Fable. I'm going fishing. You can't go fishing right now. The ponds are bad. Anyway. Thank you all so much. Like, comment, and subscribe, and all. I don't know. Take, fa uh, take fable fishing at some point. I already asked multiple people throughout the years to take me fishing. My dad, my cousin, my uncle, who passed away. Bless his heart. I hope wherever you are, old man, you're having a good time and being mean to your to your mom and dad, and your son who passed away. But yes, be beautiful. Stay beautiful. And yeah, we'll see you later.